Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third Flexbox tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at the Flex Grow property. <laughs> okay then dudes, so this is where we left off in the last tutorial. We went ahead and we created a Flex container and we did that by giving this element a display type of Flex. So that's now a Flex container. Then when we do that, every element directly beneath it, every direct descendant becomes a flex item. So that's what each of these boxes has done. It's now a flex item. And the default behavior of those flex items is that they stack left to right. And the dimensions of these are coming from these things right here. The height of 100 pixels and the minimum width of 100 pixels. So I said once we make this container, we put elements within it, then we can control the flexibility, if you like, or the functionality of these items. Things like the spacing, the growth, the shrinking, how they stack. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at one of those properties, and that is flex grow. All right, so currently we're saying to these, look, we want them to have a minimum width of 100 pixels. And that's why they're these squares. But check this out. There's tons of space left in the container. So what I want to do is when there's available room left in the container, I want each of these elements to grow into that available room. So how would I do that? I'd, uh, I'd do it using the flex grow property. All I need to do is come under here and say flex hyphen grow. And then I'm going to set this equal to one at the minute. And now what's happening is each one of these elements is growing at a rate of one. And they're all growing at the same rate to take up all the available room in the container. Now, at the minute, this number is not going to mean much to you. I mean, this could be 100 and it would do the same thing. And the reason it's doing the same thing is because this is kind of like a growth rate. And right now we're giving all of the boxes the same growth rate. So they're all growing to the same dimensions. However, this number is going to make a lot more sense when we set it to a different one on each of these elements. So let's get rid of it on there. And let's go down to each one of these elements individually and give it a different flex grow, uh, grow rate. So the first one, I'm going to set a flex grow rate to one. And check this out. So each one of these is still remaining 100 pixels in width because that's a minimum width. But I'm saying to this red one, this first one right here, look, flex grow one. This is the only one currently growing and it's taking up all the extra room. That's why it's going that big. OK, now if we come down here and we say flex grow, I'm going to set this to a rate of two. Now check out what happens. This one's still growing at a rate of one, but this one is growing at a rate of two, twice as big. Well, not necessarily twice as big, but the growth rate is twice as much. OK, so then we can come down here and we can say flex hyphen grow. If we can spell it three. And now this one is growing at three times the rate of this one. All right. So you can think of these growth rates a bit like columns on a grid. Imagine we had, say, a bootstrap grid and it has 12 columns, right? So we've got 12 columns to play with. We could use this flex grow property as a way of defining how many columns we want an element to take up. So we've got 12 to play with in, in total. Let's say we want this first one to take up um, four columns, right? Then we want this second one to take up, say, six columns. So that's 10 in total. Then we want this final one to take up the final two columns. That is the same pretty much as using a 12 column grid system and applying columns to each one of these elements just by using this flex grow property. Pretty cool, right? And I'm not great at math, but even I can see that what we can do is simplify this a little bit by reducing each one by half. So this can now become one. This can become three and this can become two. And we're getting the same effect. All right. So that is how flex grow works. We use it to expand elements into available space and the rate at which it expands into that available space is governed by this number right here. So it's all relative to the other elements next to it. OK, so that is flex grow. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and like and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.